Hi all, this is Paul at Mr RC Flying. I thought I'd take this opportunity to just show you how to wire up an Aspire. Um, being asked a lot of questions about how people power them. So let's have a quick look at it while the Aspire is out of my model. Okay, I normally fly this in my FMS 1400P51 Mustang. And this is how I wire it up. So, Aspire comes as stock with this JST lead and that's your power. Obviously you can cut that off if you want, you can change it to suit your own applications, but this is what I tend to, I like to do. So, I've got my speed controller here, you'll notice that the bullet connectors, all I've done is solder a JST plug, so I can just connect it up to the Aspire. I've got it on the speed controller side of the power, not on the battery side, because if you put it on the battery side, if you did it on the battery, it means that you're going to have to put one of these wires on on every single battery you've got. Put it on the speed controller side, means that every time you hook your battery up to the negative and the positive, you've got a feed. And then if you don't want to fly with a spire, um, all you've got to do is not connect it. Also, another little point is V4.1 sound card comes with the same power lead. It's very important that with the V4.1, the predecessor to Aspire, is that you power up the sound card after everything else has been set. So you set up, you power up the speed controller, you power up your receiver, the model is ready to fly before you hook up the V4.1. Aspire doesn't need this, but to be honest, I think it's good practice to just make sure the model is all good to go before you power up the sound unit. So, a dead easy job to do. I'm sure everyone that does a bit of RC modelling is capable of a simple solder job. You just cut off the shrink wrap, solder it onto the side of the bullet and then put some more shrink wrap on. Okay, You might wonder what the other wires are hanging down here. I run an S-Spec, separate one, uh, off my speed controller and then the other wire here is just a switch that the speed controller has. Okay, so let's go back to the Aspire then. These two wires over here on the right hand side, coming out the side of the spire, they're for your lights. Okay, so if you're going to run the gun sound and you want the board to sync to the lights, the board, the spire, and the V4.1 takes care of this for you. It's all pre installed, it's not something you've got to pay extra for, but what you do have to do is work out how you're going to wire this. These are just coming out of my spares box, it's as simple as that. You just need some form. Of two pin plug in there. Now when I did this Mr. Uh, RC Sound did not have the lights kit. This can be bought now off our website instead of having to make up your own. I put uh, this plug on the end you'll see I've got positive and negative for both sides the right wing and the left wing. Uh, this is to aid uh, disassemble of the model all I've got to do is unplug that and I can take the, the wings off if I need to, which I had to do last week because I flew the plane into a post. Okay, so buy it off the website, it's all pre-done for you. Or if you're handy yourself, you can always make your own up as I did at the time. Okay, let's have a quick look then at the TT25 hookup. So the, tra the transducers hook up here. You've got right, you've got left. You'll also see that they are polarity marked on the board, positive positive and negative. Slightly different to the V4.1 predecessor. Always watch out for the polarity on the board and make sure that the TT25 which I've got here, just make sure the plugs inside that connector are the right way round. On the, on the Aspire the plug only goes in one way. On the V4.1 it's possible to turn it round the wrong way round so just make sure you get the polarity right. Earlier this year we had a small batch of TT25s that had the wires inside this plug the wrong way round by our manufacturer. Dead easy job, stick a pin down the hole, just tease the wires out, flip them over, put them back in. You've got to make sure that you don't just go with what's on here, the polarity on the board is really important. Get this wrong, a bad TT25 can take down your board. Okay, so TT25 taken care of. Right, over on the side here, you'll see the one, two, three, four. There's four sets of what appear to be servo leads. This depends on what sort of functions you want to run. Okay, now this is out the model, and I don't want to go back to the instructions, so bear with me if I get this wrong. But one of these is going to be the guns, 
and one of them is going to be the whistle because I, I fly a Mustang so I want the whistle okay and then over here you've got your throttle hook up see that one there now I've got in there at the end a Y lead guys this doesn't come this is something you've got to buy yourself because we can't be responsible for everyone's different uh, setup but what you do then is one end goes to your throttle on the speed controller and one's going to go to the receiver a spire obviously has to see the throttle input and that's how you attain that yeah standard wire lead the pennies off ebay back to here this is where things get a little bit compl complicated because you'll see the end of the servo lead is the same it's the same connector that goes into your receiver so you've got to make sure you have a lead with I think these are male, male connectors, male either end. Okay, you can buy these, but what I did was just get two old servo leads, never throw anything away, you know, if you're going to throw away an old servo, just cut the lead off. Excuse the tape, that's just so that I know uh, which way round to connect it, and you'll see all I did, another simple self-soldering job, I connected an old servo lead to the back of this. Okay, so that goes straight to my receiver. Another question we get asked a lot is how many channels do I need? Well really it's down to your model. If you think of it, I'm flying an 8 channel setup because I've got ailerons, I've got flaps, I've got gear, I've got elevator, throttle, rudder and then I want also, I want the guns and I want the whistle. There's another one in there because I've run out of channels random chatter again it's all down to the model selection the old differ slightly depending on which engine that you want to have the sound from but that one there is random chatter I can't use that because I've run out of um, channels on this particular model which is the mailing so I always choose mailing yeah okay so kinda speaks for itself really difficult when you don't know what to do but I've meddled around several times going around the board you'll see there just next to the power lead you've got your volume knob they come preset pretty much to um, to maximum volume they are they are fragile don't go in there with massive big screwdrivers trying to change it normally you can get your fingernail in the black wheel at the top or use a very small screwdriver but be very gentle with it the model selection button is over here engine selection I should say okay now the Aspire board runs pretty cool inside your model, it doesn't get hot, there's a generous heat sink on the top but what is worth noting is the TT25s get damned hot inside your model. There's a warning on the back, caution hot, you can opt for an additional heat sink if you want to put a heat sink on the back, obviously you need to take the sticker off. They do get hot so it's very important that you have some uh, airflow around it, also don't have wires resting on it, these thin wires, it's going to get hot. Okay, so hopefully that will help out a little bit with some of the wiring around the spire. It is all in the instructions. If you go on the website and you go to the tab on the top right, which is more info, you go in there, you will see detailed instructions on both the V4.1 and the Aspire. Hope that helps. In terms of where it goes in the model, I'll come over here to my P51. Okay, you can see I'm ready to install it again. There's my speaker hookup. Uh, sorry, there's my gun LED hookup. Okay, I mean these are these are pennies off eBay, and it, I'm no I'm no electrical engineer, but it was dead easy to do. Okay, so all I do then is run the wire under the wing, come out to the LEDs. Like I say, these are now on the website. You can buy them yourself. Aspire board. I have mine there. Okay, so this is a FMS. 1400 p51 that's where I have it okay previously I had the TT25s here and here for COG they were right on the mark on the money because that's the COG of this particular model so they were really good they didn't affect the flying the flying balance at all the problem I've got now is I've had to repair the fuse so I've had to reinforce the inside here so I'm going to have to move the TT25s further back unfortunately I have to see what the COG is like when that that comes to play okay so doesn't weigh much the Aspire it's not particularly big it's a dead easy fit it actually fits really nice and snug in there just down there the TT25s when they're here and here this is a V8 V8 
version of this model which has the battery tray which slides out if you put your TT25s here and here which is the best place for them it does block the battery tray so you've got to think about that can you get your battery in and out yes you can but you can't pull the tray out if you fancy pulling the tray in and out things are going to change for me now because I've got to move my TT25s further back the reason for that is because of this reinforcement here now this wall is too thick it's too thick it's not going to resonate particularly well and the more vibrations you get the better sound you're going to get however the thinner you go on the wall the less bass you have so maybe bass is the wrong expression but it's the less the less depth to the sound you've got the thicker that is the deeper the sounds going to be however the thicker it is the less volume you've got so it's a bit of a playoff really also this is where the damage occurred I got a big crack down the fuselage there I don't really want something on there that's going to be vibrating excessively back here obviously this is probably going to be a better area for it there is ideal that's pre-made for a TT25 but it's a long way back um, I just have to have to trial it see what the CAG is like hopefully that helps uh, with wiring up your Aspire or your V4.1 it's the same principle really but it's something that we get asked a lot um, and hopefully this will uh, this will help now that you can actually see it because what's the saying? The picture tells a thousand words. Another little point on here. Some people use hot glue on here, blob of hot glue to stop this coming loose, to stop these coming out. You know when you're fiddling around with your wires you might be pulling away at things. Um, I personally don't really want to put hot glue on there. I do use a little bit of glue like a craft glue, like a boss sticks or an evo stick, something like that. Something that will hold it but it's not 100% permanent. Personally, I don't really want hot glue dripping all over me. Nice Aspire board. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Good luck with that, guys. If you've got any questions, please come on to the customer service inbox. Uh, we would try and respond within 24 hours, but it, uh, it might take a little bit longer from time to time. Please bear with us on this. Thank you.